we are able to demonstrate a deeper measurement, what we call Kirkpatrick uh, measurement level three and level four. Let me just give you an example of how we go about doing the impact focused learning journeys. This looks complicated, but I want to just pull back a little bit and just impress upon you that we do this step by step. And we do this step by step with the learning business partners, internal learning business partners and the HR team members to help co-create a leadership learning journey. The first step is we need to all have a common language. We need to all agree what are the leadership assets that we're trying to develop. Are the gaps, the opportunities for growth on a mindset and values point of view? Or is it perhaps a gifting, a personality, an assessment of the strengths of an individual or a group, a collective group of individuals? Is it a functional leadership skill that needs to be integrated with a universal leadership skill? I'll give you an example. Functional sales, business development, that's a functional skill. A functional skill needs to be integrated and overlaid with the ability to lead myself, lead my team, lead my organization. That's what we call the universal leadership skills. Further, uh, there is an opportunity to speak about emotional intelligence, stress management, mental wellness, as well as relational intelligence. The topic and the word that's currently being used often is psychological safety. Uh, how do I relate better with my colleagues? How do I create an environment that has a culture of uh, innovation, uh, the culture of being able to openly speak in a polite and professional way your mind and engage with curiosity and allow for different innovation to happen with what we call specific set of managed risks and specific set of uh, cultural norms, uh, corporate cultural norms that allows for growth. And uh, finally, of course, there's an opportunity to learn how do individuals learn and how can we accelerate the learning. So the first thing is to establish some common language. Then we try to share with our clients the adult learning process, or rather, how do we journey with adult participants to learn? Do they know or do they understand? Knowing is just an awareness. Understanding is deeper cognitive understanding. Do they know they understand? But just because they understand doesn't mean that they're ready to apply or they know how to apply. And that's really where we tend to specialize in. If you want to know and understand, read a book, watch a YouTube clip, go to a lecture. Application is the secret. And after you apply, you need to develop what I call a new operating rhythm, which is basically habits, new habits. So do you know, you understand, can you apply? And what would it take for you to be more disciplined about applying this on a regular basis? So this is the new usual, the new you. Fundamentally, we believe leadership learning journeys are about core behavioral changes over time. That's, we believe, that's why we believe in not leadership training in itself, but we believe in leadership development and leadership formation. There are different ways of engaging, different modalities from coaching, from assessments, from training, workshops, like assignments, making sure that the participants take what they learn back into their business as usual, um, attending lectures, perhaps even watching TED Talks, uh, initiatives are drawing new pro uh, 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 driving new projects, driving new things that's happening, and opportunity for self-reflection and even simulations, putting them through trials and tribulations. So step two, step one is what are the leadership assets that we're trying to build? And step two is how do people learn and how can we ensure that the interventions are going to make sense and going to get the results we want? Assuming that we can have clarity on what are we trying to build, uh, how are we trying to equip the leaders and the participants, then we perhaps may engage in an on, uh, to ask some questions to the HR and the learning directors of what is the uh, gaps that they're trying to achieve or what they're trying to cover. We may have consultative meetings together with business sponsors. We may even interview selected participants. And we try to digest everything to what we call the moment of truth. What are we trying to equip them with? Around, uh, are we trying to equip them with mindset, technical skills, soft skills, or knowledge? 
And oftentimes, it's a combination of these four different parameters. Step five is when we co-create the learning solution. Uh, the learning solution may include, as you can see here, several components. It could include pre-work. It could include workshops. It could include taking what you learn in the workshop and bringing it back to the work, what we call work-based assignments. And in that opportunity of taking it back to work, there could be also some coaching opportunities. And we offer coaching clinics so participants are not left to their own imagination on how to apply it. We, we know that participants will be excited to apply what they learn in the workshops, in the in-person workshops back home, back in the workplace, but oftentimes they'll struggle and that's what the coaching clinic's for. We believe in a learning journey, it always makes a lot of sense to have a capstone presentation. What do we mean by that? At the end of this engagement of strategic initiatives, let's say 60, 100, 120 days, Generally speaking, I don't like to have programs that's over 100 days or 120 days. The reason is because they lose the learning momentum. We believe we keep very intense a learning journey that's about 100 days is just nice, maybe even 60 days. And as we start to take them to that journey, they should have a capstone project to present what they've learned and what's the impact to the business. Everything that we talk about here, there's an opportunity to measure effectiveness. To do that, we have a survey that we ask them to do before the workshop, during the pre-work. We have the same survey that we ask them to do, what have you learned, right after the workshop, and the same survey is applied again three times after the capstone project. Then we're able to truly measure what's, what are they able to take away, how have they applied what they've learned, what is perhaps some of the personal reflections of business uh, opportunities and business impact that the learning has made. Uh, we have a full framework around that. And of course, lastly but not least, we believe actually the learning continues and we strongly encourage our clients to put together a mentorship program so that the participants have a very specific intentionality in growing their leadership capabilities over time. So there you have it. Here's an example of what we have done. There you go. Uh, this is one of our many programs, and it starts with pre-workshop assignments. Watch a couple of videos, read a few articles. Um, you know, perhaps even write some reflections. We've done a first survey prior to coming to the workshop, an in-person workshop, which in this case was three days, a second survey after right after the workshop and then there were a bunch of projects that the participants are working on in this specific case there are 26 participants 26 participants took a hundred days to work on a project some of them are continuing to uh the some of the projects continue to be in place they're not 100 day projects they're a little bit longer but the intentionality is there we did some coaching oops sorry we did some coaching here and then there was a third survey at the end of this. And everybody did a presentation. In this specific case, this was a program where we worked with the, the in this case, the bank, on helping people who are people managers go to the next stage of leadership. Actually, it's called a next stage leadership, where there are people managers, there are department managers, and they're now being nominated to go on this leadership journey to become organizational leaders, not just team leaders. And this is an example of a program that we've designed and developed together with our clients. It combines both technical skills, functional competencies, universal, universal competencies. It, uh, it includes application to the work that they're already working on. They decided the projects and it includes coaching and uh, there's a final capstone, pres uh, capstone project presentation. That's an example of a much more comprehensive, impact-focused leadership learning journey. It takes a little bit more effort, but the results are measurable. We look forward to working with you and your company and your leaders on this exciting approach to equipping them. Thank you.